Joshua, can I see some writing samples? Some books you've ghostwritten maybe? Most ghostwriters have non-disclosure agreements or confidentiality agreements with clients. That means that the author would prefer it not be known that they had a ghostwriter work on the majority of the book, up to and including writing every single word, even if it is still for the author's ideas, stories, experiences, insights, jokes, etc., etc. Confidentiality agreements are common. Roughly 80% of my own clients I have a non-disclosure or a confidentiality agreement with. Now, you came to this video because you're interested in finding a ghostwriter. How do you go about looking at all the different ghostwriting opportunities available, the service choices, and choosing the right one? Here's my advice. As you go through the ghostwriter vetting process, doing your due diligence, looking at the reviews, case studies, testimonials, etc., including the samples, I recommend that you look for a ghostwriter who has a mix of traditionally published author clients, self-published author clients, as well as their own stuff, preferably books and courses. Here's why. If someone has only ghostwritten for self-published authors, you don't know if what they can do is actually good enough to get published by a real publisher. Otherwise, there could be amateurish mistakes, deal breakers, obstacles that doom those manuscripts. Even if they got a seemingly high profile client, the possibilities for the success of those self-published books are limited for that reason. And they very well could have just leveraged the expertise of the self-published author client to make it a good book, rather than it being their own brilliance, ingenuity, and understanding of what makes a book work. Now, if you get someone who's traditionally published clients and self-published author clients, even better. But, but, how can you be sure that going into a project that they have the exact creativity that you want? that they have the ability to adapt, to promote themselves, to write well. Because it very well could be that they ghost wrote the first draft of the self-published author manuscript, the traditionally published author manuscripts, but were so bad that they were edited into oblivion by the publishing house's editor or by the client themselves. Only when you find someone, a ghostwriter, who is able to share with you a few, you don't need hundreds, even just a few, samples, of traditionally published clients, self-published clients, and their own work, can you see what their natural default author voice is like? That's why you want to see someone who has their own stuff, their own books. Now, what if you find someone who does have their own books written and you thought, oh, this person's going to be amazing. If they don't have a portfolio, even if it's just a couple of samples that they can share with you, sample chapters even, referring you to other books that they've written, if all they have is their own stuff, then you don't know if they can adapt their voice to yours. And you very well may in fact be getting an adventure, action, thriller, plus not safe for work, erotica, romance voice for your self-help, addiction, recovery, nonfiction book. That's going to be one interesting mashup, and it's probably not going to work. There's a little bit of a different tone from Fifty Shades of Grey to Fifty Days Sober, for what it's worth. Now, I will offer myself an example. As a ghostwriter, when someone comes to me and says, Joshua, can I get some writing samples? This is exactly what you should expect from ghostwriters that you talk to, that you vet from this process. And I'm going to share with you my own mix of nonfiction, traditionally published, as well as the self-published, as well as my own stuff. So when people ask me this, here's what I tell you. Well, I could send you a PDF of a couple of manuscripts, but even better than that, you know what I do? Is I send the Amazon link to the books so that potential authors interested in my ghostwriting services can see the reviews. Because it's one thing to see the manuscript. Is it any good? Okay, your portfolio is cool, Mr. Ghostwriter, this Ghostwriter. I mean, I guess I kind of like it. But when you see hundreds of reviews, dozens of reviews on books, that's what you can expect on books like yours. So what I will share is I'll, I'll regularly reference my own client, Grace Smith. She had number two Wall Street Journal best seller last year, just behind Barack Obama's presidential memoir. Understandable. It's an excellent book on hypnosis, weight loss, body image, body positivity. It's a fantastic book with amazing reviews. It's done wonders for Grace. That is a traditionally published book. And so when potential clients of mine want something that is a mashup where it's an advice book, but it's also got significant amounts of statistics, studies, 
and data and insights that are backing up the claims that the author is making, I like to refer them to that book. Another book I refer to them to is one that is ghost published. Ghost publishing is the unique service that I offer, which blends the best of self publishing, such as total creative control. You get all the royalties. It's your timeline. You're the boss of your book. It blends the pros of self publishing with the pros, the benefits, the upsides of traditional publishing, such as the quality, the timeline, the process, access to wholesalers. And so I bring up this as an example, Connie Steele, client of mine. She wrote, authored, I should say, Building the Business of You, which is currently featured in the window at the world's largest Barnes and Noble in New York freaking city. Here's some cool pictures of all that, uh, all that fun. I share this to show that when you get ghost published, you're not just, woohoo, I'm on Amazon now, yay! You have access to the real deal. Think about this. This is a quote unquote self-published or independently published book. Connie's is, I worked on for her. And yet it has the quality of books that are in bookstores, that are in Barnes and Noble, the New York Times bestsellers, the one that's on all our Kindle devices, that's in all of our Audible downloads, that is fun. What we've done, what we did with Connie's book, and this is why I will regularly share this as, a, as an example, is Connie's book takes her vast experience in the corporate world, in her industry, and applies it to personalized advice that any career professional could follow. It's an amazing book, life-changing, life-transforming material. So I'd love to share people, hey, check out that book on Amazon, check out the reviews, go to the free sample, download the free sample onto your Kindle, or just check out the free sample on the Amazon page, and boom, you can begin reading the sample that is so much better. So much better than, oh, okay, I'll send you a sample via Word document because you can experience the cover and the reviews and the book description and all that, and it gives you a preview, gives you a preview of what it is that you should be looking for. Another one that I love to share is Ramesh Danta, also ghost published. Cool thing about Ramesh's book, The 60 Minute Startup. Reader's favorite is one of the world's largest author awards contest. They get tens of thousands of entries. Ramesh's book won the gold medal, the number one best marketing book of all 2020. Beat out thousands upon thousands of other books. At one point, he was selling a thousand copies a day, broke the top 200 on Amazon. An amazing success story. And the reason I like to share this with potential uh, clients, potential authors, is the fact that when Ramesh initially came to me, he just started his podcast, he had a very small platform, and he basically wanted to write a book that mashed up agile project management, which is really popular in software, with his own ideas, tips, tricks, and tactics for starting a business quickly, kind of like a side hustle. And we ran the numbers about how long would it take someone to start a real business being defined as getting real customers and how long would it take? We ran the numbers. About 30 hours, I saw the writing on the wall, or on the calendar, you might say. 30 hours, one hour a day, one month, the 60 minute startup, the title was there. And then the rest of the 30 day experience all came together. And since gone on to win additional awards and been highly reviewed by all manner of great places, unsurprising. And now the reason I wanna share this one is people come to me and say, Josh, do I need a big platform? Do I need to be famous? Do I need all the things? No look at where Ramesh started. So you see, when I share these testimonials, these case studies, these examples, I'm not simply to show, hey, look, I can actually write. And each author has a very distinct voice. And even if they're independently published, they can be wildly successful. I also show them as examples of authors where they started. So it's as much a ghostwriter review as it is a sample of the author, a portfolio of the author, you might say. A couple more that I want to share with you from uh, times past. Bushra Azhar is the author of Mass Persuasion Method, number one international bestseller back in 2017. Tens of thousands of copies, phenomenally successful book. Bookauthority.org ranked her book initially number four, then number three, then number two on the all-time list of best persuasion books in the top 100. That is remarkable. I expected because if it's a book on persuasion, you would expect that the content be able to persuade book authority or a place like them to be able to put it at the top of the list. Now, I like to share her book because she is an internet marketer. And yet rather than come out with another boring book about, hey, here's how to do internet marketing, we blended psychology influence principles to be a useful tactical guide to effective internet marketing and sales. Very differentiated from a seemingly saturated market. And I refer people to the reviews. I refer people to the uniqueness of her voice. So what happened was um, we started interacting and you said, 
you know what, you don't just need an editor. You need someone who can, um, who can kind of massage it into some, I remember those words you said, who can massage it into something that is not only enjoyable, readable, but also preserves your, your voice, right? You don't want something that does not sound like you're like, thank you so much, Joshua. That's my biggest concern. That's my biggest concern with giving this book to anyone because I have a very distinct voice and I don't want it to turn it into a typical business book. I also share Andrew Stickle's book, How to Get More Law Clients. Now, in Andy's case, he is leveraging his book to sell his masterclass, his coaching, and his done-for-you one-on-one marketing services to law firms. Now that I have this book, I'm, I'm pretty excited because I'm about to launch a free plus shipping offer for my entire group. I'm going to run Facebook ads. I've got an entire marketing funnel, and I expect to break seven figures this year uh, just on, on, on book sales alone through my entire, entire funnel. That is authorship done right. Where you're not writing the book, you're writing a book to write a book. You are writing a book so that you can convert readers in the course buyers into mastermind customers into high ticket clients. That is how these book funnels are done and made and work. So this is probably more than you expected from this video, but the point of me sharing all this with you is this. The greatest ghostwriters in the world can prove it. They've done it all. They've got traditional publishing clients. They've got the independent publishing clients. They've got their own stuff. I recently came out with my third novel I co-authored. I've done really well, Level Up or Die. We targeted through research we found that there was an opportunity in the lit RPG and steampunk audience niche for fiction. What are those genres? Got a whole video about that if you want to check that out. So I've got stuff that's in my voice. I've got stuff in the voice of independent authors who are really authorpreneurs where they're leveraging their book to grow their brand or their business or get speaking engagements, get reviews, all that good stuff. And then the traditionally published clients who want to go mainstream. So I've really got something for everyone. That is what you should expect from any ghostwriter that you hire. I may or may not be available to take on new clients depending on what it is that you reach out to me. I've had as much as a three month waiting list, but you could very well find me at the end of that waiting list by the time that uh, you reach out to this. If you would like to learn more about these clients, if you've seen some of the samples, you can go check them out. If you'd like to talk to me directly to see if your book is worthy of the accolades that some of these other authors have achieved, feel free to click the link in the first comment or in the video description below, and you can talk with me, Joshua Lysak. At this point, I've ghostwritten my 61st, 62nd, and 63rd book at the time of the recording of this video. So maybe yours will be number 64.